Hey y'all, hey y'all. Good morning, good morning. Happy Labor Day to everybody. I'm going to wait for a few people to come on board and then we'll get going. We're going to do the drips on this cup this morning. So we'll give everybody a few minutes to come on board. Then we'll get started. I've got about five people coming on. If somebody would, please send me a message. Let me know you're here. So I know that my comments are working. And we're going to get started on this cup we did the other day. I had too many grandbabies the other night to go back on live. I tried to do about three or four grandbabies and I'll do a live. But I had six. Hey, Heather. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right, guys. If you remember, we did this cup right here. I added some links prior to the live. It wouldn't let me do a live and add links and an SVG. So right before the live, if you'll look back through the comments, there's a free SVG. Excuse me, I got the hiccups this morning, so I'm hoping they don't interfere with anything. Let me get the cup real quick. I'm going to stand up. Sorry, get to see me, my big size. So this is the cup we're working on. We're doing a 30 ounce though, just a little bit different glitter. But we're going to be doing these drips today and the bubbles, which are half pearls. And this is SVG I put up for y'all that's free. You can go on there and get that and save it, and you can go ahead and just print it as it is, okay? You just have to size it to the size you want. But we're going to be doing something similar to this today. This was done with some Childs and Childs glitter and some Micomania products, and then this is Hero glitter. It's a little more chunky black. Um, I did do some sanding um, already, so I have another top coat of epoxy. On top of this, I told you I'd be coming back like that, okay? Hey, Janitra. Hey, Andrea, Kelly. Y'all, welcome, welcome. I'm glad y'all are coming back for this second part. We're going to finish up this tumbler, and I'm going to tell you how you can kind of work with it a little bit. This typically dries pretty fast, so while we're talking about a few things, I'll show you how I typically go back and use... I'm bumping the phone. I apologize. I typically go back and do a little decorating with it, okay? I'm going to pull out a few colors while we're talking and then um we're gonna get going guys so in case you can't remember we got a 30 ounce ozark tumbler came from walmart um we used hero glitter which was the prof p-r-o-f i'm not really sure exactly how to pronounce it but it's a beautiful black chunky glitter it's got some iridescent spots in it um i did not bring my big flashlight in here but i will show you with this and see i've got some glare from outside but I'm going to try and get you some light on this. And this light's about dead. But you can see the sparkle this cup has to it, okay? I'm also going to cut this light on, see if this helps some. Hopefully it won't be too much glare. But it's a beautiful, beautiful black color with some iridescent colors in it. I thought it would be perfect for this. I did go back after we applied the glitter the other night and did a second coat of epoxy. So this cup is ready to do the drips with. In order to do the drips, we're going to use a Micomania product. You can pick any color you want for your drips. If you wanted to do a green or a pink or a purple, but we're going to be adding some alcohol inks to it. So if it's not the exact color that you want, I wanted to do more pink because of my SVG. So I chose a Micomania product. This is by Von Perry at Micomania for You. It's called Pink Sands. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. I may not have to paint this. I'm hoping that it'll turn out exactly the way I want it, but it's a beautiful color. I've used this a lot. Hey, Joy, how are you? Y'all, there's Miss Joy. She's from um, Glitzology. We're going to be doing another tutorial using her glitters next. So y'all keep in mind that we're going to be using some Glitzology glitter for next tutorial, okay? Hey, Miss Jennifer. Hey, Lori. I'm glad y'all are coming. We're also going to use something called Nice and Thick. This kind of helps me. You do not have to use this. Um, this is by Counterculture. Just so you can see, it's called Nice and Thick. It's a big, big container. I have very large hands, so it's a powder. And we're going to mix it with our epoxy. It just kind of speeds the process up for your drips. Good morning, Trevor. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Beth. Hey, Denise. Woo -woo. So, you can use this product. You don't have to use this product. Like I said, this is called Nice and Thick. Where's it? There it is. By Counterculture. It does kind of help speed the process up, especially if you're using an epoxy that's not a fast set. So in addition to the nice and thick, I'm going to be using Counterculture's 
um, fast set UV protectant. This is the new one. This is part A and of course part B. I'm going to be using the fast set just because it sets up a little quicker and you don't have to sit here and wait for it to thicken up. Okay. I know. Hey, Chris, I'm glad you made it. Carolyn, whoop, whoop. Nice and thick is amazing, Karen. You are exactly right. You don't have to wait forever. This stuff just kind of mixes in and it, and it works really, really fast and gets that thickness that you want. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Just in case you did miss that live, remember, it was Hero Glitter and it was Prof, P-R-O-F. This is another cup that I did. This was um, Child's and Child's Glitter. Just so you know, um, I'm trying to find the pack. And I apologize. This was their Noir, N-O-I-R. I used that for this first cup. If you like the finer glitters, that's what this is. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to do these drips. And all you're going to need is your epoxy. If you don't have the nice and thick, you're fine. You can do it with epoxy. I would recommend the fast sets. You don't have to sit forever stirring and waiting on that. Okay. Let's see who else we got. Tyree, Liz, and Chris. All right, here we go, guys. Now, y'all know I mixed entirely too much fast set. So, I usually mix a little bit more epoxy than I need because I like you to see what happens to this epoxy in the time spent that we prepare this cup. So, I'm going to show you how fast this stuff sets up. Remember, you're not going to need this much epoxy. All we're doing today are drips. So, please only mix maybe 10 milliliters or 10 cc's if you're... I'm retired medical field, so I have a hard time saying milliliters, but um, you're only going to need about 10, maybe 15, just depends on how many drips you want. You're going to make sure that these are 50-50, um, and I always like to check my measurements before I get carried away, okay? So we're going to set this to the side. I got my apron on today because I got on a got on some clothes. I don't want to get messy. Hey, Miss Jasmine. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Lori. Y'all welcome, welcome. All right, guys, so I've got my equal parts, part A and B. This is uh, Countercultures Fast Set, okay? I like to mix mine in a bigger container just so I've got some room to spin it and, and turn it around a little bit. I got just some type of a little stir. This one got bent trying to get a pool noodle out one day. But I'm going to use this to measure out some uh, Mycomania product. This is pink sand. This is an absolute beautiful color. You do not need much of this color. I'm going to dip it in my cup that I'm going to use to mix with. Got a little bit of extra on my thing. And that is pink sands. So that's about all you need, if if even that much. Okay, guys? Depends on how much epoxy you're using. Does not take much of the uh, mica powders to make this work. So I'm going to put in my epoxy. Remember this is Counterculture Fast Set. I do use different epoxies. I don't stick to one company just depends on what I'm doing, what I might use that day. Um, I have found some that are that seem better than others. I have found some that are absolutely perfect for different projects that I've done. So if somebody ever asks me what product do I like the best as far as epoxy goes, I'm going to give you a different answer for a different cup depending on what you're doing, okay? It's just I've got so many products over here in the corner that are different epoxies and different glitters and just I, I, I prefer to use a little bit of everybody just because I like to be able to tell you I have tried something and this did work or this doesn't seem to work for that. And just to give you a better idea because I don't want to tell you something if I have not tried it. Okay. So all I'm doing is mixing part A and part B together. I'm going to give it a good stir. I'm going to show you this color once I get the mica stirred up in it. I think this is going to be absolutely perfect for the color that I want. Um, if it doesn't come out the exact color that you want, you can add more mica powder. I'm going to make sure this is stirred real well. I want to show you what color I got. So I've got a real pale pearly pink. I can go with just a little bit more powder if I wanted to. You may want to add a little bit of glitter to yours. We can do that just so I can show you it does work. I'm going to add just a touch more mica only because I want it a little deeper of a color. And like I said, we can add, oh, you know what we'll do? This is a UV pink. I used this the other night in a tutorial on my Comania page. I do do tutorials there also. I do some a few tutorials on Childs and Childs. I need to pick back up with them. I was sick for a while and I do apologize. 
But this is a UV pink. Let me show you what it does in case you haven't seen this yet. It's just a UV light. So when it's exposed to sunlight, it turns pink. Okay? When it's in the dark, it glows. So I'm just going to show you how quickly this changes. So I'm going to use this. This is a Micamania UV Pink on top of my Hero Glitter. I'm just going to add a touch of this to my epoxy. Okay? Live on the dangerous side. Do a little vicariously. That way my drip may um, change color and glow a little bit. Doesn't take much. Maybe a teaspoon or better. Because you don't want your epoxy super thick where you can't work with it. But this is going to give it some shimmer. And I'm losing a little powder. I'm going to show you how pretty this is. Y'all, I, I live on the dangerous side. I mix up all kinds of stuff. So this is what we got. Let me get some sunlight on it here. Let me get it out of here. See how pretty that is? See a little bit of sparkle? A little bit of pink? Okay. So I've got it mixed up well. But we're going to add the nice and thick to it. This is how thick it is now. So I've got... And remember, fast set sets up in about 15 minutes, okay? So we're going to get the fast set out. I mean, excuse me, the nice and thick out. I use a little more than this than maybe most people would. I'm going to put in a heaping spoonful. I'm going to drop it right in my epoxy. I'm going to set this to the side. See how thick we get, okay? It's kind of has no smell. You don't want to smell it too much because it's very powdery. Um, doesn't change the odor of your epoxy. Does change the consistency of your epoxy. Okay. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Terry. Let's see. Amy and Penny. I'm so glad y'all are joining me. I'm kind of getting a little bit of powder everywhere, so I keep brushing my cup. But I'm going to mix this up real well. See how thick I got it. Okay. Sometimes it takes a little more. Or you can sit here and wait for this to thicken up by letting it set. I'm going to add a little more just for the cause. I say a little more. It's a good bit more. But y'all, this lasts forever. I've done probably 15 cups with this and I've only used maybe a, a quarter of the jar. So you're getting a lot for your money when it comes to that nice and thick. It's worth purchasing, especially if you do a lot of drip cups. If you're doing any honey cups or Winnie the Pooh cups, I've used it on all type of cups, okay? I'm going to pull this out of the camera just a little bit because I'm getting some powder because I do stir fast. All right. Hey, girl. Glad to see you. Hey, Jessica. What cup are we doing today? I missed the last one. We're doing a black drip cup, Shauna. Looks kind of like this. We're going to add the pearls to it so you can get a bubble effect. Okay? And that's what we're doing. Hey, Miss Lauren. Miss Lauren won a beautiful package the other night. I don't know if y'all were there for it, but it was a really nice package. So look how thick we're getting now. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to add much more. I'm going to kind of judge the color of my pink. I want to see what my pink looks like. I'm going to put a little bit more of the pink sands in it because I've added so much of the white powder. Doesn't take much of this, okay? But I want a little deeper pink. So I'm going to add just a touch more. That's just me personally. You do not have to do that. It's just something that I want to do because I'm looking for a certain color so that I won't have to paint mine with the alcohol ink, okay? Amy's asking if I sell product. I don't sell anything. I do sell tumblers. I'm like everybody else. I do this to sell tumblers. Um, but I don't really sell any anything else as far as um, different products, nice and thick or counter cold. I don't sell anything in particular. There's a lot of ladies in our group. Some of the admins have their own companies. And I've mentioned those, and I've also put it in the link. I want y'all to look how pretty this sparkle is. I hope you can see this sparkle. Let me see if I can get it up here. It's got some sparkle to it, some shimmer to it. Okay, and we're getting a whole lot thicker. Let's see if I can get you inside the cup. Can you see how it's dripping in there? It's getting a little bit thicker. Still not as thick as I'd like it to be, okay? So we're just going to sit here and spin. It says, can you use nice and thick with any epoxy? Yes, ma'am, Shawna, you can, Okay. Um, let's see. Andrea says she loves this color. This is a beautiful color. And I'm trying to get a color, just so you know what I'm doing, similar to this pink, but it looks more purple in here, but it is a pink. Okay? And if y'all wanted to get crazy, like, look, I've got a taffy. I'm all about, I'll just mix something just because. I'm just going to sit here and play for a minute while I'm waiting on this to get thick. 
I'm going to add just a touch of this hot pink glitter. Don't ask me why. Y'all know I got a UV color change in here. So even though this is a white glitter I added, I am in the sunlight, so it's turned a little bit pink purple, which it's supposed to do. And then, of course, it'll glow in the dark. I'm adding a little bit of hot pink glitter to this. I'm just curious what it would do. So I'm going to show you what that does. I didn't add much. Just kind of changes it a touch, but you still get... I'm trying to get you in the light. You still get a lot of shimmer. I'm going to take some really good pictures of this when we get done so you can see all the sparkle in this, okay? Y'all get creative. That's what making cups is about, okay? I'm going to add one more thing. Y'all going to think I'm crazy, and I am crazy, just so y'all know. All right, so Andrea, Lori, thank you. Where did you order nice and thick, please? This goes to Tammy. I got this from Counterculture DIY. Dot com. Let me pull it out so I can show you what it looks like. For some reason, I'm wanting to say it's like $7.99 or $9.99. It's a big, big container. Nice and thick. I've actually got two or three over here. It lasts forever. Okay? All right. Now, I'm going to add something. Y'all are going to laugh when I tell you this. I've tried everything. My eyes are watering today. I promise I haven't been on the teary side today. But y'all know I'm very sensitive. But this is an embossing powder. I used to stamp. Like back in the day, make my own cards, birthday cards, stuff like that, and let the kids help me. Um, but this is an embossing powder. I got it at Michael's. I'm going to add a little bit to my... Y'all know I'm just crazy. I'll just add anything to anything. I'm going to show you what this does. Y'all going to like this because you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see the big sparkles in this. Let me get it mixed up real well. I usually add this to my Galaxy Cups trying to think if I've got one. This is a cup with embossing powder in it. Can you see all the sparkle that's in there? That's actually embossing powder. So it does make a really, really, really nice um, swirl in your different cups that you might do. Okay. Well, I'm really, really digging the shimmer that I've got. Still not quite as thick as I want to be. Unfortunately, you have to kind of sit here and wait. Um, just for a little bit. I'm going to show you another product only because you could put that in there for a little more sparkle. It's called Diamond Dust. It's also by Mica Mania. I'm trying to use a little bit of her products today. Um, do you recommend any other CC DIY products? Their, um, their epoxy is amazing. They have a facet. Let me show you something. Let me get a little bit of this Diamond Dust in here. I'm trying to just create something so I don't have to do a lot of painting with my alcohol inks. I'm just trying to get a little more shimmer. But let me show you this. They have a fast set that looks like this. Okay, that's not a good bottle. This bottle's been sitting over here for a long, long time because I started using their UV. But this is the fast set. It's a step A and B. This is their original fast set that they had. Didn't have a whole lot of UV protectant in it. Said not to use it on a final coat. It's in a purple bottle. Okay, the blue bottle that you'll see on their page, which is CC DIY, is the fast set with UV protectant. It says right there. Okay, UV clear or ultra clear, excuse me, but it does have a UV protectant. They do say you can use it on vinyl coats, um, but they do suggest not to use it on a mold, um, only because there are so many um, little bubbles. They just don't suggest it for some reason on a mold. I have tried a mold. Let me see if I have it in here still. I may have taken it in yonder. On some coasters, just because I wanted to see. It says don't use it on molds, so I tried it. And um, just... Just wasn't quite what I want. Now, this is pretty. We added all kinds of stuff. We added diamond dust to this. So, we have got a lot of shimmer in here. Okay? We're getting thicker. Okay? Not quite as thick as I want it to be still. Okay? Somebody's saying they missed my face. Hey, Miss Candace. All right. Hey, Miss Dana. I got Debbie Floyd. I'm adding a little bit of heat to it. There's very, very minimal bubbles in here. Sometimes if you add heat to these fast sets, they seem to set up a little faster. Um, it will pop any bubbles that you may have in there, so that's all I'm doing. Don't want anybody to think I'm doing anything crazy without you. Okay. Somebody's going to say, well, it makes it thinner at first. It does, but then when it starts to set up, it sets up a whole lot faster. Y'all, I'm crazy about this color. I got all kinds of shimmer in here and sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to see if I can bring you in really close. Let's see. Now, there you go. See all the sparkle to it? Isn't that beautiful? That's some big chunks of glitter. But I'm trying to at least show you. 
Play with your play with your epoxy. Play with your nice and thick. Get what it is that you're looking for, okay? You need to paint a powder coated cup. I sanded it. Do I need to paint a powdered coated cup? I sanded it. You don't have to, but if you sand, you have to sand it in order for anything to adhere to it. If you're going to tape it off at the top and the bottom, most of those powder coats have a tape line or a silver line at the top. I typically um, sand mine, and then I wind up and repaint it anyway. I have tried a cup with just powder coat, didn't sand it, put it all on there. It's a beautiful cup. It was white, and it had, um, well, I can't say what it had on it. It was Disney. We'll just put it that way. And I made it for my sister, or not my sister, my, one of my daughter-in-laws. And uh, turned out great, but it wound up peeling because I didn't prep the cup. I'm just going to save you the time. It'll it'll peel off if you don't have it sanded properly, okay? If you don't want to sand, there's a product by DIY.com, no, DIYepoxy.com called Final Sand that you can put on your cup instead of sitting there sanding and prepping, sanding and prepping, okay? Um, it works great. It's like $10 a tube. It lasts forever. It's kind of a tan paste that has some grit to it. You can use it. It also makes matte cups. If you've ever had a man say, look, I don't want glitter and I don't want shine. I just want a matte cup. That final sand works for matte cups too. It's amazing. Okay. Can you use stick tight instead of sanding? You can. There's something called, um, well, it's actually not stick tight. It's called slick stick and it is by oh, Dixie Bell. And I have some of that somewhere. Y'all, sometimes I, can, sometimes I can find things in here, and sometimes I can't. But um, Slick Stick works great. Oh, it's in a big container. Y'all, you get a lot of it. Let me see if I can find it real quick so I can show you what it looks like. Uh, slick Stick. I do not see it handy. There it is. Look, I told you I had it. All right, so this is Dixie Bell called Slick Stick. It's huge. It's almost, you can see it in there. It's almost like a paint. You brush this on, it dries in like five, ten minutes, and then you brush another coat on, let all your cups sit overnight, and you're ready to go. Okay? You don't have to sand or anything, but that stuff's amazing, and it's by DixieBell.com. I'm always going to give you links of stuff that I can I can help you with. Those black skinny koozies from Walmart, and they're black, and they peel bad if you don't take, take it all the way down. Yes, ma'am. I want to get some of that final sand. The final sand's amazing. Now, listen, my cup is already getting warm. Okay, when I say warm, that means it's going to start going through its chemical reaction. But this is still super, super soupy. So I'm trying to let it thicken up. But I have to be really careful because if you don't get this on in the exact right time, you're going to wind up um, making long drips. And I don't want long drips because I'm going to put that decal on here. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm going to take my noodle out because I'm going to kind of work with it a little bit. Sometimes this can make a little bit of a mess. I'm a little bit concerned because this is getting warm and I'm not as thick as I want to be. I'm going to add a little bit more nice and thick to it. I'm going to pull it off camera so I don't get powder everywhere and including in my eyes. I just need this to be a little thicker, a little quicker. Ah, oh, I made a rhyme, made a rhyme. If your base paint isn't white, do you paint over the slick stick or just use a different prep method? I do. I, if I, if I um, use the slick stick, I'll paint right over top of it. And you don't have to sand your cup. So that's kind of the plus to that. All right, so we're getting, we're getting good now. This is getting much thicker. All right, guys, we're going to get going on these drips. Let's see, sorry. Where's the black glitter from? I came in late. This black glitter that's on this cup is called P-R-O-F. It's from Hero Glitter. She's on Shopify. That's Miss LaDonna. She's the creator of this group. And then I also did one with Childs and Childs glitter. It's a little finer glitter. No chunk to it. But it's a beautiful mix called Noir. N-O-I-R. I'm country, so it's hard for me to say some of those words. Hey, Miss LaDonna. Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys. This is much better. Much better thicker okay I could add one more little scoop to this and I'll be perfect so I'm gonna do that I'm only speeding the process up y'all don't have to use this much I'm doing this for you okay I just don't want you sitting here listening to me talk even though I give out a lot of information a lot of different products that are out there that maybe you can use I'm just trying to speed up the thickness okay 
I have the child's one. It's beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Child's and Child's has another black color. I'm trying to think of what it's called. No. They do have another black color, but I use the Noir on the 20 ounce skinny. And then again, this is P-R-O-F from Hero Glitter. Okay, and she's on Shopify. Hey, Toshiba. Hey, Miss Jennifer. Hope my babies are doing good. I'm going to pull this over to the side because I'm throwing dust everywhere, guys. I don't like to, like, just inhale it. So this is the perfect consistency. Fast set sets in a hurry. Y'all know I have made a lot. Now, somebody's going to say, there's got to be a better way to make these cups. There's just got to be because this is absolutely crazy. But I'm telling you, you, you don't have to make these beautiful at the top. All you're looking for is your drips, okay? Late to the show. Good morning, Alana and Sherry and Linda. So I'm going to be putting it on the side. I have to be able to see what I'm doing. Now, this is how thick we are, okay? This is a good consistency. You're not going to get much more working time. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make one side of my, one side of my thing. See how? See? All right. So we're going to add to the top, okay? You're just going to kind of let it fall off your stick onto the rim of your cup. And then we're going to go back and fix everything that we need to fix at the top. This is the way I do it. This is not perfect. This is, um, we're going to get it all the way to the top though. But there are other ways out there. I've seen some people dip their cup in this stuff. I saw it on a YouTube video and I was like, oh my God, I've never thought of that. But And then she flips it back over. All I do is go around, I hope you can see this. Let me pull it in here. Go around the rim of my cup. Wait till it gets this thick because you want it to be thick. And you're going to start seeing the drips come. Okay. If you use too much, you'll have a mess. I'm just going to be honest with you. The first cup I did was a mess. But the thicker you put it on, the more drips you're going to have. Now watch these. These are going to come in pretty good. If you feel like it's going to be too much, just scoop it up, guys, and move it around. Okay. These drips are starting to form. That one's probably going to wind up be a little longer than I want it to be because I got a lot of epoxy there. But I just swirl it up on my stick. Go to the rim. Okay. I hope you can see this. If I get too much in one spot and it looks like the drip's going to be too much, I'll just move it. Or if I get that, see that little spot right there I messed up on? I'll put a little bit more epoxy right there so that can drip. And I have my eyes are watering like crazy, y'all. So we're getting some drips going. We're going to keep working because this fast set sets up really quick now that I got it super thick with that nice and thick stuff, which is amazing. Can anybody see? Okay. If you wind up making a mess, just remember epoxy is going to come off like any other epoxy. Okay. You can take it off with your Cricut um, X-Acto knife. You can take it off with about anything, but I hope the most important before you start these drips is to make sure that your stuff is thick enough, guys. If it's not thick enough, you're going to have drips all the way down the cup. See how thick that is now? Okay, so just make sure that's the most important, that it's super, super, super thick. If it gets inside the cup like I just did, it's going to flick off with your um, razor when you go to clean your cup. So this one's going to be long. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Let me turn it back around. Let me get my drip stopped. All right. So I got a lot right here. Can everybody see that? If you don't want it to be that long, grab some of it and pull it up to the rim. And it kind of covers your blank spots. And that way you don't have such a long drip. And when this stuff starts to set, I want a little bit more drip right here. So I'm going to add some more. And I'm going to try and do it upside down for you guys. And see if this works. Where did I say? Right here. So I'm going to add a little bit more epoxy. Bring it over the top because it's still stretchy enough. Okay. That it's going to drip. And that one's going to be a good one. And somebody's going to say, what about all this? You can just kind of smooth it out. We can also use a heat gun to smooth it out. But we're really starting to get set. Like I said, fast set doesn't give you a lot of working time. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Make sure I got all my epoxy all the way up to the rim. So you don't have to go back and do any extra work later. Put a little bit here. I am going to spin this cup for you guys, okay? 
So please don't think I'm doing everything behind your back. I'm going to show you what I've done. And then I'm going to show you some different ways that you can kind of fix a few things, okay? We're going to put a little bit more right here. And the reason being, I'm going to show you, I have no drip right there. So I just created another drip. See where it's kind of overlapping, okay? Now somebody's going to say, that's a lot. I don't like it that thick. Okay, if you don't like it that thick, you got to be real careful with this. If you're not real careful, you can add it to a syringe. Yes, you can squirt it with a syringe if you like. Um, I just do it this way because I feel like I can control it better. Okay, now to kind of even out these little bubbles, I'm not going to add a lot of heat. You just want enough that you make it kind of soft where it starts to blend. You can move this cup around. Just be careful. If your drips start to get too long, turn it back over. Okay? So you can work with this anyway. Right now, all I'm trying to do are pop these few bubbles. See the bubbles? Okay? Making sure that I'm covered. You can do this on the turner, but you're not going to get as pretty of drips. Because remember, you're going to be rotating. So these are my bubbles I'm popping. See them? You want to pop these while it's still semi-soft. Because that's what you're going to have if you don't. Let me get some more pop here so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, let me get some. This is actually, there's a big one. I don't want to leave that cup like that. So a little bit of heat. Kind of extend your drips a little bit. Okay? Also pops these few little bubbles so you don't wind up with a big old fish eye in your drips. Like this one. And see, there's... They're coming out really easy. I'm just kind of... I see how this is smoothed out right there where we didn't like it? Okay? Now, this is the fun part. This is your decorating part. You can put these on by hand. You can do these any way you want. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to take... This is just a little... If I didn't dry it out. And I got the cap on it. Go figure, right? I'm taking half pearls. Okay? This is just a little cheap holder for the pearls. Now this gives you your bubble effect, okay? You can put these on anywhere you want. And I'm just going to place them if they'll stick. That's going to be the fun part, if they'll stick. They're not ready, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring that up, flatten that back out where I've created a mess. And like I said, guys, there's nothing that can't be fixed. So I'm just going to flatten that out, okay? Add a little bit of heat. I'm going to drop that pearl. It's stuck. I'm going to add them by finger. It's the way I typically can do it better. I'm going to heat that just a second. Get it smoothed back out. Where I kind of dingled it up. Okay. I'm going to apply them by finger. I do have on long nails. <laughs> so typically I wind up with some epoxy on them. But all I'm going to do is place this barely on my epoxy. And press them in. Okay. You're going to add this all, wherever you want them. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm going to show you this other cup in a minute. That drip's wanting to go sideways. So say I want to add one at the top. You can actually just drop them down and hope they don't turn over. So we're just adding pearls. This one's a little high. You want to bump it down some. Okay. Add pearls anywhere you want a bubble. Can y'all see the shimmer in that epoxy? Isn't that pretty? That's just from adding a little bit of glitter, okay? Once this dries, these pearls are going to be set. There's no need for glue. There's no need for E6000. You don't have to do any of that, okay? I'm just trying to get a few in here. Press them in a little bit. Now, this one I did kind of in chains. I got carried away with my pearls. Some people say, oh, it looks cool like that, but I think there were too many. I just added some larger ones, too. I wasn't crazy about some of the larger ones. So I'm just going to add maybe 10 total to this one. Now look, I'm getting some long drips. So I'm going to turn it back over. This one's going a little bit longer than I want it to. So I'm going to turn it back over until it starts to set. And I'm going to add some more pearls, okay? There's, there's all kinds of ways you can do this. You put them wherever you want them, okay? There's no rhyme or reason. I did try to use a stick pin, but it wasn't set quite enough to use that pin. So I'm placing these by hand, and they're going to make a mess. Okay, just adding a few. Just make sure they're pushed down from the rim. Okay, 
So this is all we've done. This one's a little cockeyed, so I'm going to move it over a little bit. Okay, you add them wherever you want them. And the only reason I have my cup upside down is this one right here went pretty far down. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. But it's just to slow down that drip session that's going on over here, okay? All right. All right, try tweezers. I do have tweezers. I'm going to try. I'm going to turn this back over for a minute. It's really hard with nails. I've got tweezers. I've got I've got more tools than one human needs. But these are actually tweezers that I got from the OR when I worked in the operating room. <laughs> no, I didn't steal from my previous job. And this would work better with tweezers because these are very fine. Um, they're not going to hold these because there's no teeth on them. But actually, it's holding it. So I got these with tweezers, okay? So that way you can just kind of drop it on there if I can open it back up. We'll see what happens. I'm not very coordinated to use tweezers. I don't even do my own eyebrows, guys. I just can't. Okay, so you can put these on there anywhere you want them. I might put two more on there, and that's all I'm going to do. Only because I didn't want that many on this particular cup. I'm going to put one there, and this stuff's setting up really fast. I'm going to show you in the cup how fast it's set up. I'm going to put one right here. Okay. Now listen. When this dries, which won't be long, you can go back with alcohol inks, which I'll show you in a minute, okay? I'm just going to give this a few more minutes. That's all the bubbles I'm going to put on. You can put a whole lot more on here if you want to. While this is setting up, see where I turned that one sideways? That one drip has a little crooked spot to it. You can either cut it later because you're going to add a final coat. Or you can try and redirect it now, okay? So I'm going to try and redirect it before it gets too hard. Okay, it's starting to get pretty hard. So I've kind of redirected that one. I'm going to wipe it off in a minute. I'm going to add a little heat to make that kind of sit back down. Okay, I still got a little bit on my thing. I'm going to turn it right like this. I'm going to grab something real quick. I'm going to show you some cleanup tricks. Y'all probably already know this. If you've been doing cups a while, you already know what this is. Just a regular old baby wipe wrapped around your fingernail. And I'm going to find that one drip that I had. And I'm going to come in and take it off. Okay. Alright. So the rest of that we'll get off later. So there. Okay, just a little bit left. This one drip is really going down there, so I'm going to turn it back over until it sets up. I'm going to bump it one more time with heat. I see just a few little pop, few little bubbles trying to pop out, but it's about set. That set sets very fast. It does not cure, but it does set fast. Okay? So we're going to set this to the side. I'm going to check my cup. This is why I make more epoxy than normal. So I'm going to show you what this epoxy is doing. So see, we still got some stretch. Let's see if you can turn it this way so you can see some stretch to it. But probably in about five more minutes, I'm going to look on the screen because we're going to do a few things while this is setting up. You don't have to do it right now. You can do it later, but I usually wait until the sets. It takes about five more minutes, if that long, because I don't want the drips to get much longer. But while we're waiting, I'll show you a couple little things, okay? I always shake up my alcohol inks. Don't know why, I just do. I've got a little tray right here. Sorry, I live vicariously and on the wild side. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of pink. And this is going to be much brighter. So it does not take much of this. Okay. So dot your brush. All I'm doing is dot my brush. You're going to come back and add just a little bit of alcohol ink to your pearls. 
You can wait till this is completely dry if you want to, but I want y'all to see the difference in the in the way these pearls look when you paint them. Okay. Now this isn't the perfect perfect, but I could paint up the silver if I wanted to do little brush streaks in it. It's not quite ready for that. But we're going to try and just let you see. It's actually pretty dry. So we're just going to brush up a little bit. Just to give you a different idea. Of what it can look like. So there's just a little shading. A little bit of purple. A little bit of pink. Just something to change the color of it. And I'll go back with different colors. Now you have to look at this one. I did this one with green and purple. A little bit of gold in there. Just kind of brushed it wherever I wanted it to to change the color of the pearls. Okay? I definitely love this pink that's on there. But I'll probably add some more of the, like, magenta. This is magenta. It's a brighter pink. I've got some gumball pink that I'll probably use. Just to kind of bring it closer to the sticker. Okay? This is more looks purple. Now, let's just see. I'm curious. I used a little bit of that UV glitter. Let's just see if it does anything, if anything different happens, because I did add the UV glitter. I don't see much difference. Let me do it where I can see. I do see a little difference, guys. It does stand out. What I'm curious about is if this thing's going to glow in the dark, because that UV glitter does glow in the dark. Okay? That's the one I painted with alcohol ink. Have you ever used puff paint for the bubbles? I have. Actually, I have. I've also used the glitter glue that's in like little puff puff paint things. You kind of squeeze them. I've tried that too. This was just something that I honestly found on YouTube and I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I thought, I've got to try that. So, but I want y'all to see all the shimmer that's in the drip work. Just from adding a little bit of glitter. Okay, some of my drips are wanting to go sideways. It is what it is. Go in a closet. I tell you what I do, Jen Jen. I go in my bathroom and I cut all the lights off and you can see. But if I get up, I'm liable to trip because I opened a bunch of boxes behind me this morning. I had a bunch of stuff and I opened some boxes. I'm scared to death I'm going to fall when I get up. <laughs> I don't want y'all to see that. But I will take some pictures. So look, guys. This is all you got to do. My drips got a little longer than I wanted to. Okay. It's at a point that it's sticky now, so I can put my pool noodle back in here, and I can put it back on my turner and just let it spin for sake of an animal or a kid coming in here and knocking it over. It's not really going to go anywhere to let it dry. Let me put that down a little bit. That's kind of bright. All right, so this is my fast set epoxy. Now, I'm going to show you. Let me get it out if I can. It's not 110% set because it's still able to roll, but usually you can't even take the stick out of it. So that is the Fast Set Counterculture. It's Counterculture DIY. It's the UV protectant, okay? And it is setting. So really and truly, I don't want to pop this, but I can touch these. They're still a little soft, okay? But this is pretty much done. It's going to, you can see it moving still. So we're looking at a couple more minutes, okay? It's going to drop in my cup. But that's it. That's a, I saved a lot because I wanted you to see, okay? All right. So, we're going to let this sit here. I want to see everybody's cups when y'all get to doing these. I would love to see what you create. I am, um, you can get into smaller areas. Somebody's saying, yes, you can. You can do much more bubbles. You can do a, a ton of bubbles if you want to. Like I said, I got crazy on this one. I want it to be real bubbly, but really and truly, I feel like I put too many on that. And it would have been better for a witch's brew cup or something. I don't like the fact I did a straight line. But this was just experimenting with something different. Okay? I just wanted fewer bubbles on this one. And I could actually still go in. I think it's still soft enough. I could add one or two more bubbles. If I wanted to. Let me find a spot. I'll put one right here. Yeah, it's still soft enough. But you'd have to do them pretty quickly. Okay? I hope this has helped somebody. You have a little person peeking through the window. I think... No, that's actually my head. Right here. I have a mirror behind me. Back, back behind me. And that little thing that you see right 
here in the mirror is my camera, my phone, <laughs> sticking up. Bella is in the other room with Lucas, the one-year-old. Um, my three-year-old didn't come today. It's Labor Day, and um, Daddy was off work, so he's with him. So I've just got Lucas and Bella, and little Lan Lan isn't here today. He starts K3 tomorrow, so y'all wish him luck, my little Lan Lan. I'm, I'm hoping it'll go well. But no, I just have two, and my husband's here. Ooh, ooh, my husband's never home, y'all. He works seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Bless his heart, I love him to death, but I'm so excited he's still sitting in the living room in his pajamas. But he swears he's going outside as soon as I'm done so I can take over the one-year-old. <laughs> what if you weren't using fast set? How long would you wait? And do you spin it? And do you still spin it? I'm just putting it on the spinner because I don't want to let the drips get any longer. They're set pretty well. Like I said, I can touch this now. It's not leaving any fingerprints in it. So this is pretty good. I'm just putting it on here to spin so that if somebody comes in here by accident, they don't knock it over and I get a flat spot. It says, hey, hon, quick question. This is about the Galaxy Tumbler. Mine was lumpy and I called it hand grips when it dried. Will more epoxy fit this? Absolutely. Um, on my Galaxy Cups, now this is not a, I'm trying to see if I got a Galaxy Cup in here. This is a Galaxy, all right, so this is my Galaxy Cup. That somebody wanted, it's actually not a Galaxy Cup. We're not supposed to, uh, advertise anything in particular, but this is actually going to be a Harley Davidson cup for a female. Okay, so she wanted glitter, but she wanted the black and silver. Now, when I, I'm trying to get a good angle where you can see that there's ridges in this, especially where the glitter is. So, see the lumps and bumps? Let me see if I can get some more lumps and bumps for you. More lumps and bumps. This is a gal. this is my everyday cup, believe it or not. Now, this was my Galaxy Tumbler with that same glitter in it. But this is after the, the last coat of epoxy. So it's super smooth, no ridges, okay? The bottom is super flat. It just takes that extra coat of epoxy, especially if you're adding glitter to it, okay? And this one does have the glitter to it. Um, I don't do the regular old um, Galaxy tumblers because I'm a sucker for pink and I'm a sucker for glitter. And I just want a little bit more in mine. But y'all, I've seen some beautiful Galaxy tumblers, okay? Random question, but I love your glasses. Where did you get them? Totally off the Tumblr subject. Valerie says, I got these off of Amazon. I actually have bling bling some myself, but I get these off of Amazon because I'm going blind and my bifocals don't work as well as these when I'm doing cups. So yeah, I wear bifocals. But these are Amazon glasses. I think I gave 20 bucks for them, but they're awesome. I get more compliments on these glasses than anything. It says, how long do you let your epoxy sit first if it isn't fast set? Honestly, I would say you have to watch it. Some people I've heard say they let it sit for about 30 minutes. Um, you definitely don't want to add a whole lot of heat to your regular epoxy just because it thins it out so much. The fast set seems to speed up the process when you heat it. It also pops as bubbles. Now listen, uh, this is my fast set now. And only because I rolled it in a ball earlier am I able to get it out. But that is... That is hard as a rock. I can't mash it. Okay, I can't make it any smaller. I'm trying to get it out of there. It's a little tacky still because it's such a big ball. But this fast set sets so quick, y'all. It's crazy. Um, so if you're new at this game, please do not, don't use the fast set unless you're comfortable with it because it does set up fast. The last product that we did use in case you're coming in fresh is that um, Nice and Thick by Counterculture. And, of course, we use the Prof, P-R-O-F, from Hero Glitter. She's on Shopify. I use some Mica Mania products, just so you know. This is a Pink Sands Mica Powder. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery powder. It's Mica Mania for you.com. I used a little bit of her taffy color in it, just because I was trying to change the color up a little bit. I used her UV Pink. And just in case you're joining us and you miss this, I'm just going back over some of the stuff, okay? This is the UV pink. When it gets in the sunlight, it changes color, okay? We can change this whole bottle in a matter of seconds. It also glows in the dark. And then I added a little bit of embossing powder just to give me some shimmer, okay? All right. Did you paint the epoxy too or just glitter? I use mica powder. And that goes out to Stephanie. Stephanie's asking. I used the mica powder to color that epoxy. And then I used some glitter to give it some shimmer. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from there. 
Let me see if I can get you a good, can you see any shimmer in there or is it too, maybe with that glare. Let me see if I can pull this light in a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is gorgeous. It might be too much of a glare, but it's got a lot of shimmer to it. It's beautiful. I hope you can see that. All right. All right, Miss Sheila, good morning, good morning. All right, we're getting ready to finish up. I am so thankful you came on a Labor Day. I'm getting ready to put these children in the pool, I think, or I may be cleaning. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do today. But um, I am so glad you joined me. Next time we come live, I'm going to put a poll up and see what kind of cup y'all would like to see. But I'm going to be using some Glitzology. Miss Joy, I think, was on here earlier with us. She's the owner of Glitzology. I'm going to be using her glitters. Okay, and um, if y'all get time, go take a look at her, uh, glitzology.com, and, and just take a look at some of the products she has. I've got a whole basket back here full of her stuff, so very pretty stuff. I'm so glad you joined me. Remember, everybody, we all believe the same. If you haven't told somebody they're beautiful or you love them today, even if you don't know them, you'd be surprised how it changes their life. Okay? All right. Love y'all. Bye.